all right guys we back with another vlog it's your boy tgk i know i don't say it as often but i i forget to say it but y'all need to subscribe to the channel if y'all like this stuff about like eight percent of the subscribe people watch this these videos so subscribe anyway today we're gonna watch snake eyes looking forward to actually watching this movie uh it looks like it's gonna be action filled action packed what do you think i'm so excited i know she was she was big on wanting to watch this movie so Let's go ahead, let's go up in here into the famous Look how beautiful this is. 30. It's so modern and new. It's been here for like three decades now. Anyway, let's go inside. Girl, if you stop looking at this healthy stuff. I mean, it's the healthiest thing ever. Yeah, let's, let's go over here where the correct stuff is at. Do I want a Kit Kat? Do I want to hurt? Ooh, Reese's. Look at all these options. Let me get a drink first. Ooh, hold on, look at that. Thing. Ooh. I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna give me one of these right quick. See, I will get something from here, but it probably melt by the time we get to the theater, because, you know, Texas. See, you would have thought I would have learned my lesson by now, but girls just tend to take forever in the grocery store picking something. So I'm just standing here awkwardly looking at her. So do you want the chips? Do you <laughs> want the flaming high? What, what do you want? All right, what do we get? We got Hershey's, beef jerkies, Reese's sticks, chips, some taquitos which i'm eating right now yo why is cheddar's packed at 1 p.m i don't understand I don't so good about yo joe's still open what the hell yeah. I don't wanna... joe's really. it's taquito hidden roadhouse isn't open, roadhouse isn't open? Not yet. Oh, okay why are there cars there the workers. cafe del rio i've been there before it's pretty good here's here's another movie i'm looking forward to watching Oh, in a couple of days. Great. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not that member. I'm this member. Let's go. All right, so since I am a AMC member and an AMC stockholder, uh, I got this drink for free. Look at that. Number, what was the theater? 23? 25? Oh, my God. All right, guys. Going in. Give you the review right after this. Yo, take a look at this. <laughs> this is horrible. But uh buy, buy AMC stock though. She kills. Uh, Alright, time for post thoughts of snake eyes. I came to this movie having high hopes. First and foremost, and I left this movie annoyed more than anything. What about you? Yeah, I, it's, uh, I had a lot of mixed emotions. Yeah, like, all right, so I, I can't remember the, the guy's name, uh, Snake, right? The main character. So we're not trying to get spoilers away. So basically, yeah, he's he's away. he's trying to figure out some things and, and find some things in his past and correct some things right but his storyline amongst the other storylines that he's connected to it just it's just too much um how would i put it without spoiling stuff it's just a lot of uh backstabbing a lot of inconsistencies no one's sticking to their guns so to speak no one's sticking to their policy so to speak so it's just like um when, and again, I know this is a G.I. Joe movie, so I, I, I maybe need to curtail my expectations of realism, but they, they they treated everything so real, but then when it came time to a certain thing to be done, they went against everything that they were supposed to do. So, I, I don't know. Like, visually, it was all right. In the beginning, it was kind of hard because there was too, too much shakiness and moving in the fight scenes. The, the camera work, they move way too much in the fight scenes. I like fight scenes where you can actually see the fight. These fights, they were just all over the place. I don't know who the hell was winning. 
It got better throughout the movie, but it was just a lot of movement, and my eyes were hurting. Okay, I thought I was the only one with that. And then, I don't know. I just, like, if they would have shown certain things of, like, so there's so many storylines going on in the movie. There's, like, about six storylines going on in the movie. And then at the end, like, there, there was, like, no, it just felt empty. Like, the purpose of the movie wasn't the purpose that it should have ended with. And I was just left in a in, in such confusion and annoyed that I I wanted to say really good things about this movie because I had high hopes, but I left kind of disappointed. What, you, what about you? It seems like the, the 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 fate of the of Japan was in the hands of a stranger American based off his conscience. So. It was so, your conscience is so back and forth and supposedly everybody knows how you're feeling and they just take whatever side you're taking at the moment that it was just very, you're just like, what? Yeah. A couple times in the movie, like, what? Yeah. But then you see at the end that they're, you know, you kind of get that they're building towards something. Right. So that kind of made it better, but I, I had better expectations. Well, that's the thing. Like, they were building to something else. But I'll tell you this one, I have no interest in anything else. Like, whatever they built to, like a sequel or whatever the case may be, I'm not interested. And I know the guy, the main character came on before the movie that they put a lot of effort into this. Hey, I see the effort, but just the execution of it all, from a storyline perspective, I, I was lost. I was lost. I mean, everything looked cool, the CGI, all the action, the fight scenes, those were amazing, but besides all the shakiness in the camera I was just lost and um, too much back and forth yeah there's a lot of back and forth I want to see the second one but probably not as much as I wanted to see Snake Eyes though so then right at this point this is going to be a little spoiler talk so basically everybody was backstabbing each other all the factions were were flip flopping between each other so the the break it down to you so there's Bloods and Crips Bloods were flipping the Crips and Crips were flipping the Bloods and I just didn't know what the hell was going on so, if you watch this movie, and if you're watching this point in the spoiler area, area, just know you're going to see a lot of back and forth. You're going to see double, triple spies. It, it was just too much to keep up with. I, I mean, and it was a super long movie. Like, the build-up from Snake meeting this new, the, the uh, what was the, the, the clan? Snake being introduced to the clan. All of that build-up was so long, and you got no payoff. Like... He didn't get to be a part of the clan. Then he betrayed the clan. Then he came back to the clan. There's just all this stuff going on with Snake, and you just got no payoff. And at the end of the day, Snake is gonna go back and get the Tommy guy back in back home. And I'm just like, that's not what I was watching for. Like, what the hell? And he was in the movie. Was and and here's the thing: the trailer, the trailer shows the guy with the with the the black helmet, and the thing comes down. You didn't get to see that until the end of the movie, and the movie was over. Like, I I don't know. All the explosions what they just saw in the trailer was from the guy with the jewel. And, and apparently that's what they were defending and fighting for. It just, I don't know. I was just lost. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think of this movie. Because I was quite, kind of disappointed. I ain't coming back to watch that. I'm going to watch old and hopefully today or tomorrow or some other day. But Snake Eyes had a lot of potential but damn was I disappointed like there was no one that I liked in this movie I mean he's cute that's what makes him all right him. anyway guys so <laughs> what he's cute he's good looking that's the, I enjoyed that part I guess, I guess that was cool yeah guys y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below uh, I was disappointed with the movie if you've seen the movie let me know what you thought hope you enjoyed this vlog until the next time guys it's been your boy TGK we out